soon as President Trump is finished speaking, we are going to the Capitol. It's that direction. That's where our true problems lie. President Trump is done speaking. We are going to the Capitol. That's where our problems are. Okay, folks, we need your help. As soon as President Trump stops speaking, we are going to the Capitol. The Capitol is in that direction. Let people know. Spread the word. Why are we going to go to jail for, okay? Tomorrow, we need to go into the Capitol. Into the Capitol. So let me just ask you right here. Do you demand the prosecution of Ray Epps? He's an actual insurrectionist on tape. Do you demand his prosecution? You know, let me... Let me let me answer the question because I think there's some confusion um, about <laughs> what the Department of Justice has said, um, Mr. Epps. There are conspiracy theories around the role that he was playing that day. People are pushing this notion that somehow he was doing what he was doing because the federal government was telling him to. That's not true. There's no evidence of that. Confidential informants actively participated in the events of January 6th. Sir, I'm sure you can appreciate that I can't go into the specifics of sources and methods. Uh, Did any FBI agents any FBI or agents confidential or informants confidential actively informants participate actively in the events of January 6th? Yes, January 6th. yes or no? Yes or no? Sir, I can't, I can't answer that. Did any FBI agents or confidential informants commit crimes of violence on January 6th? I can't answer that, sir. Did any FBI agents any or FBI informants actively encourage and incite crimes of violence on January 6th? Sir, I can't answer that. You guys are trying to make this poor schmuck who showed up to your protest into something a lot bigger than he is. Okay, he's just trying to survive and he's on your side. You don't have many voters left. You might want to try to hang on to them without demonizing and vilifying your own people. And now you guys are doing it to this poor Ray Epps. Leave that guy alone, whoever he is. So before I get to this Adam Kinzinger tweet, I feel like I need to give a little background information on Ray Epps for those who might not know. If you don't know who Ray Epps is or think he's just the figment of some right wing conspiracy theory fever dream, that's because the January 6th committee and the media are corrupt and purposely deceiving the public. How do we know that Ray Epps is so important? Because our media nor this sham committee want to talk about him and that alone should raise questions. That's not all though because he's on video multiple times inciting and directing a violent mob into the Capitol. <laughs> Why would this guy not be enemy number one in the media? They spared no hyperbole in their years-long campaign to cast January 6th as the worst thing to happen in America since the Civil War. Why wouldn't the media, Ratskin, Cheney, and Kinzinger not constantly reference this guy? So not only is Ray Epps on video inciting and directing people into the Capitol, but there are also transcripts from his testimony where he admits orchestrating the riots. And to make things worse, when you read these transcripts, you can see that the January 6th Sixth committee was actually coaching him to say that he didn't know he was taking credit for inciting a riot. Sorry, officer. I... I didn't know I couldn't do that. Despite him being on video multiple times inciting a riot. Now, despite all of this irrefutable evidence, he was never charged. The guy on video inciting a riot at the Capitol was never charged, no. But this old cancer patient was and convicted for standing peacefully inside the Capitol. What the fuck? None of this makes any sense especially combined with the apparent lack of interest by our media to find out what's going on, thereby confirming that they are nothing more than the extension of a corrupt government. In a mind-blowing turn of events, they've actually cast Ray Epps as a victim of right-wing conspiracy theories, a Trump backer's downfall as the target of a January 6th conspiracy theory. Ray Epps became the unwitting face of an attempt by pro-Trump forces to promote the baseless idea that the FBI was behind the attack on the Capitol. Capital. Unwitting? Baseless idea? <laughs> Honestly, the only way that you could say either of these things about Ray Epps is if one, you were completely ignorant of the plentiful video evidence, or you were actually part of a government effort to cover up a crime. 
you were right. Which brings us to pissy pants crybaby liar Adam Kinzinger, who has zero respect for your intelligence, who responded to this tweet from Eric Matheny, a lawyer with a popular podcast, saying, in terms of culpability, Ray Epps is on video encouraging a crowd to riot and admitted such in a sworn statement where he said, I also orchestrated it. House GOP has an obligation to find out his role, who he was communicating with, and who in power helped set up the events of January 6th. <laughs> oh, no. Pissy Pants Kinzinger responds, literally completely untrue. <laughs> it's in the transcripts, you idiot. It's on video where we can clearly see and hear Ray Epps inciting the crowd. In one video, the crowd actually calls him out as a fed. Tomorrow, we need to go into the Capitol. Into the Capitol. Hey, no! no! Peacefully! Fed! 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 Peacefully! Fed! 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 Why? Why would he lie about something that's so verifiable? It's almost like he doesn't care because all that really matters is repeating the lie over and over. The good news here is that Twitter responded and ratioed his ass. We need to go into the Capitol, into the Capitol. I also orchestrated it, Ray Epps. Explain away these actual quotes or stop lying, you prick. <laughs> Meet Adam. Adam is a lying sack of shit. Don't be Adam. That's because of the company he keeps. <laughs> Little Adam is a serial liar and a serial crier. <laughs> Why are you people obsessed with defending him? Yes, exactly. Why is it this one guy they want to turn into a victim and protect? The one guy who's on video actually inciting people into the Capitol. All right, folks, if you enjoyed this video, please help me spread it by hitting that like button, sharing it, and leaving a comment to continue the discussion. And remember, I'm posting all my videos now at 8 a.m. Eastern every single day. So keep checking back for the latest on the Democrat Party's authoritarian takeover of America. Thanks a lot.